Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. If you're watching this video, you are most likely a human being. A human being who gets sick sometimes. Whether you caught the common cold or came down with something much worse, have you ever wondered what's actually going on inside your body? It's pretty interesting, and I, Blocko, am here to enlighten you. Let's find out what the heck is actually happening when you get sick. We'll start off with the good old immune system. The immune system defends your body against bacteria, viruses, parasites, and toxins that shouldn't be there. Every day you inhale thousands of bacteria and viruses through the air. Your immune system will usually do a pretty good job of dealing with them, but occasionally a germ or two will slip by. This will cause you to become sick. When this happens, your mucous membranes sometimes become infected and inflamed, so your body responds by sending more blood to these areas. The increased amount of blood lets loose a greater amount of antibodies and white blood cells that attack anything that isn't welcome. Your blood vessels swell to allow for that greater volume of blood. Sadly, when this is happening in somewhere inconvenient like let's say your throat, they press up against nerve endings causing soreness. So there really isn't too much to be sad about when you have a sore throat, just know that it's a sign your body is healing itself. But what about mucus? Sometimes blowing your nose 10 times in a row doesn't feel like it's enough. Is that really necessary, body? Yes, yes it is. Mucus membranes line your sinus cavities and they secrete mucus regularly to protect your body. This is a normal thing, you just might not realize it until you get sick and it becomes a bit of a hassle. Mucus helps trap bacteria and viruses that shouldn't be there and provides a good way for them to exit the body through your schnoz. When you're sick, more mucus is produced to prevent germs from reaching your respiratory tract. Even more mucus can be produced by inflamed and infected membranes, so that's fun. Mucus can be gross sometimes, but it's really just trying to help. Alright, so you've caught a cold, sore throat, stuffy nose, and what could be worse? Well, a fever. Fevers are very common with many illnesses, and they often come with a side of chills or sweats. Chills happens when your fever is rising and your body tries to catch up with the new baseline temperature. The exact opposite is happening when you get the sweats. Fevers are caused by pyrogens. Pyrogens are chemicals that can come from outside of the body, but are more often than not triggered inside as a part of the immune system's response to invading germs. Pyrogens tell the hypothalamus, the body's thermostat, to raise the body's overall temperature. Some studies have shown that the immune system runs more smoothly at higher temperatures, so this makes sense. Many viruses and bacteria are also inhibited at higher temperatures, so this all seems to work out nicely. If you're if your temperature is too high, then you should go see a doctor. Anything over 103 degrees Fahrenheit is usually a cause for concern in adults. Take care of yourself. These all might be things your body does to fight off a cold, but if you're sick, then you should go see a doctor and get all the necessary shots and treatments. What are some things that you like to do to get over being sick? And if you want even more life noggin, check out this episode on the science of depression and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Links are below. I'm Blacko, this has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking and stay healthy.